What's up guys, it's Living Survival, and today I got another awesome assault pack for you guys to check out, so stick with me. Got an assault pack, yeah, filming in the rain. Alright guys, so today we got the Spec Ops, the assault pack. This is a badass assault pack for civilian contractors, law enforcement, military, uh, border patrol, or obviously it makes a great survival kit uh, bag or bug out bag. I keep telling you guys how comfortable these packs are, but uh, you know they just keep getting more and more comfortable, and uh, this is no exception. The Ultimate Assault Pack by Spec Ops, definitely a comfortable option. So it's got your sternum strap here. One thing I'd like to see them add here would be the bungee retention. I really like that because it allows for your shoulders to, uh, your shoulder straps to flex back and forth when you're on the move. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, pretty comfortable sternum strap. It's got really comfortable padded shoulder straps. All fully adjustable, of course. Standard hip belt here, no pad to it, but again, in a pack this size, do you really need the pad? I'm not so sure. All right, guys, so this pack is made in America and has a lifetime warranty, so definitely a very awesome option for a survival kit or bug out bag. So let's go on inside and take a closer look. All right, guys, so this is an upgraded version of their Ultimate Assault Pack. They've definitely added some awesome new features, including increased cargo options. You can actually add frame sheets into the back of this or sappy uh, ballistic plates, soft armor, things of that nature. It's got their double down uh, grid lock panel which is uh, hook and loop, makes it awesome for hooking on. Uh, you can actually hook pouches onto this that are hook and loop, uh, and then also you can hook your patches on as well. It does have a hydration pocket, which we'll go into in a minute. It's got some awesome visibility on the inside. Packs are starting to do that now, so we'll take a look at that. And then, uh, obviously, these packs are battle-proven. They've had 200,000 of these packs, and not one has come back with a harness failure. So the harnesses are super durable. Again, make it a great option for civilian contract work, military work, border patrol, things like that. It's made of 1,000D Cordura nylon fabric with huge YKK zips, self-healing zips. So definitely the fabric is going to hold up. And uh, that's pretty standard for your high quality packs. A lot of packs are cutting corners uh, on their nylon, going with like 500D, things like that. And this one has the high quality 1000D. All right guys, so taking a look at the front of this pack, you've got this huge cargo pocket here. And uh, it's got three rows of Molly webbing. On. You can definitely get it in all different camo options. Like I said, on the top, you've got another cargo pocket here. But on this one, it's got the hook and loop, a full panel of hook and loop. They call it their grid lock, which is sweet for hooking. Uh, you know, maybe you want to hook an administrator panel onto this, um, ID panel, map panel, things like that. And also, you can hook on your morale patches. All right, taking a look at the side, you've got a full length rows of molly here for hooking on uh, definitely a, a lot of other cargo uh, pouches and, and pockets, things like that. So that's cool. You can hook, uh, you know, blades or, or knife, sh knife sheaths to this as well. Anything that you would really need to hook onto the side, you've got a full panel uh, of molly there. You've got two compression straps, one on the top, one on the bottom of either side. Other side is exactly the same. You've got all the rows of molly and then two compression straps. On the bottom here, you also have three rows of molly. You can definitely hook a bunch of things to the bottom if needed. Taking a look at the top here, it's got a really high quality grab handle. A couple loops on either side. Now you notice that these are not Velcro like a lot of packs where your hydration tube comes out of the uh, pockets on the side. And uh, we'll take a look at why in a minute. On the back here, you've got the uh, really high quality. Again, they've had 200,000 of these packs and not one has come back with a shoulder harness failure. Really high quality, really heavy duty nylon uh, stitching and things like that on the padded shoulder straps. You've got two D-rings here. You've got uh, adjustable sternum uh, chest strap. And then on the bottom, you've got the adjustable hip belt. Again, non-padded, but in a pack this size, not necessarily uh, needed going into this back pouch here. Now normally this is reserved for hydration or concealed carry on most packs. On this pack it's a little bit different. It's a full length uh, back panel here. This would be for your uh, protective inserts, your uh, ceramic plates, things like that. Body armor, you can put that right in the back here and that's going to protect you from the back uh, from any shrapnel or 
uh, bullets coming at you from the back. So that's definitely a great option there. And uh, like I said, normally the place where you'd put your hydration, not in this case. And then of course, if you're using this for a non uh, tactical bag, maybe more like a survival kit or a bug out bag, you definitely have all that increased cargo in the back as well without having a big hump where your hydration bladder would be. All right, so let's take a look at the front of the pack here. We'll undo these compression straps and then taking a look at this front pouch here. Again, no muss, no fuss. You don't have any you know, pockets or sleeves or anything. Just a nice, large cargo pocket in the front. You could definitely keep your, your water, your hydration, uh, bottles in here, cook kit, things like that. Definitely a great place to store utility items such as a saw, uh, gloves, uh, anything that you would need. Uh, fairly quick access to. You could definitely put medical supplies or your IFAT kit in there as well. Up top here <clears throat> on the, uh, the other front, pouch undo these compression straps here again another just basic uh, large uh, capacity pocket here now this pack is made more for uh, you know modular options where you're going to have separate little pouches and packs that you would put into these additional cargo pockets so they didn't stitch in any flaps or anything like that which in my opinion uh, you know is great for a pack like this you know I'm moving more towards having all my uh, uh, little kits fire kit, survival kit, first aid kit, uh, you, you know, things like that all in their own separate pouches. So I kind of like a pack that has, uh, you know, just basic pockets that I can shove that stuff into. All right, so up here you have this little flap here, and this is where your hydration hose is gonna go, as opposed to where you would normally put your hydration in the back of the pack and then run it through the top here. Most of them would come out of Velcro flaps on either side of the grab handle. This one actually has its own pouch here on the inside of the main compartment. This would be where you would hook your uh, hydration, stick your hydration down in here, and then the hose would run up through there like that and then along along the back and down your shoulder strap i actually like that it keeps your hydration in the front it gives you easier access to your hydration to where even if you have your main compartment fully loaded you're not sifting to the back of the pack to get into your hydration so one other big thing that you'll notice on the inside of this pack is that it has this awesome high vis high visibility yellow Packs are starting to incorporate that now. Some are orange and uh, Spec Ops uses yellow. That's definitely awesome if you have things down in the bottom of the pack. It reflects, you know, it, 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 it uh, contrasts against this high visibility so that you can have very quick access. You know, when you're in the heat of the moment, maybe you're in a, an SHTF situation or a, um, you know, a chaotic situation. You may need really quick access to your, to your gear that you have in your kit. And this high visibility is definitely going to help you get to it quicker and be able to spot it deep inside your pack a lot quicker. You can see that this clamshell is open, which is nice. If you hang it from a tree, it's not going to fall all the way down on you since these zips only go down about three quarters of the way. It's not going to open all the way on you and dump your contents. And then it has a huge cargo main cargo pocket. Again, this would be a great bag for taking with you traveling or when you need to carry a ton of gear, maybe a lot of extra clothing or something like that. This is going to be the pack for you. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the Spec Ops Ultimate Assault Pack. It definitely is an ultimate assault pack. Holds a lot of cargo and definitely is very comfortable for when on the move. Like I said, for law enforcement, military civilian contract work or obviously bug out bags and survival kits would also make a great bag to take with you when traveling because it does have that large cargo opening and the uh, cinch straps to be able to cinch it down uh, so great pack for that as well so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up guys leave me some comments below on what you think about the spec ops ultimate assault pack make sure you're following me on twitter instagram facebook and google plus and as always guys subscribe for more videos